Okay, before we take this cover off, this is a sub panel. The electric feeding it has to be turned off completely. I have a main panel outside. I'm going to turn the main breaker off. There won't be any electric in here at all. So you got to establish that first before you even pull the cover off. Okay, so we got the breaker hooked up here. Here's our Q line one inch 50 amp circuit breaker. There's a spare in between. Okay, I had the empty spots. So I, I put a brand new spare. I'll mark that on the panel over here. We have our uh, neutral onto the neutral bus bar. And if you see our ground, it's the second one up on the ground bus bar. And we're running down in here to one inch through that connector. And I come back down through this hole. Uh, we've got a good work box. So I got about three and a half foot of wire here, approximately. And I put tape on the end of that so I could fish it through the wall. Of course, you're going to have a different scenario. Oh, the, these work boxes, they're around $4.50, <laughs> somewhere five bucks. Uh, so we'll get back. We're going to go ahead and wire the 1450 NEMA outlet. That's two hots, a neutral, and a ground. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so here I'm wiring that 1450 uh, NEMA outlet. I'm using a square head uh, to tighten, tighten these up when they go in, okay? Here on the front, got three blades. Hot, hot, neutral's on the bottom, ground's on the top. So hot, hot, red, black, either order. White, neutral, ground on the top. There's a bare ground in this 6.3 Romex. <coughs> oh, by the way, that's my stud finder there. Let me know there was a stud there. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, what I had to do was fold those back some, okay? And I had to tuck, pull a little bit up out of this box, retighten that connector. Um, you're just not going to get it in here with you never use a single box this is a double box for the 1450 NEMA outlet it's really tough to get her in there but you can get in there you just got to take your time don't force it just bend it just can let it conform naturally now I'm going to put the four screws in the to tighten them up you know hold her in there so here we go got her tucked in but there's a Good bit of pressure on because these these lines are you know number six. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm trying to keep them even evenly balanced because you know if you push one one you know too far too hard you could strip out that thread in the box. You don't do that. And I'm set on I got a Makita here. I'm set on like ten. So okay. There we go. We'll snug that last one up. Okay. So here's a 50 amp to 110 adapter. The breaker's off, okay? And uh, this is what it looks like. Got three blades, you know, two hots. Hot, hot. Neutral and a ground. Again, this breaker is off. We just plug that on in. And what it gives me down here, it gives me uh, extra outlets. They're 20 amp outlets, so I'll use them for a compressor for whatever my electrical needs. Uh, you know, of course, for charging electric car, but for right now, I'm not doing that. I can I can also have additional outlets. These are like $22 on Amazon. Okay, see ya. Thanks.